Hello friends, in part one of this exercise, we have created distribution and cumulative curves for early and late schedules by using measures. In this video, I will complete the exercise, but I will build on the previous discussed measures. Please review them for maximum beneficial. Now let's start work with one slicer for toggling between cumulative and distribution curves. First step, I will add new table from data entry. The first column I call it serial number and second column it will be toggle. I will add in the toggle here the cases distribution, cumulative and both. I will add serial number one, two, three. The table name it will be toggle one. Load. Here's the table created. I will add new slicer. In the field, I will add toggle here. Now I have the three choices, both cumulative and distribution, but I need them to be in another order. So I will select the column in column tools, sorted by column, serial number. So I created the serial number in the table to have this arrangement. The second thing here, I want to make this toggle is one single select. So I'll go to format, search for selection. You will find here single select, make it on. So I can toggle between the three. To understand the process, let me create one measure, new measure. I call it toggle equal. Selected value of the table toggle one, toggle. I will select the value of the column toggle in table toggle one. Let me add here visual called card. I will add the new measure as a field on this one. If I selected distribution here, the measure, it will be changed to the same value. So the idea here that to draw the distribution, I should select distribution or both. If I want to cumulative, I will select cumulative or both. Let's edit the measure for curve early distribution. I will create first variable curve type or selected value toggle in toggle one equal distribution or selected value of toggle in toggle one equal both. then return. I am expecting from this variable that if I select a distribution or both, it will give me true. If only cumulative, it would be false. So I'll check about if it is true. If curve type equal true, then if yes, I will select the value early distribution. If no, I will return blank, mean nothing. Let's check if I click distribution, nothing would happen. If I click cumulative, the early distribution disappear. If I click both, it will appear again and so on. Now let's do the same method for early cumulative. Measure early cumulative before editing contains some x function only. After editing, I have added the sum function inside the if statement. Also, I have modified the first condition to cumulative. Measure late distribution before editing is selected value function only. After editing function inside the F statement and condition is distribution. Measure late cumulative before and after the same method. Let's check. I think that the idea is clear for using one slicer. Now let's open the final report to explain the final step in case of two slicers. The final copy here, I have schedule type and curve type. I have created two tables, go to data, toggle one is early, late, both, toggle two is distribution, cumulative, both. The difference it will be in the measure writing. 
In the measure cumulative early, I have two variables with two conditions. One is cumulative and the other is early. So I have created the two variables, which are returning true or false. In F statement, I have used AND, which means that the two conditions should return true only to show the curve or return blank. You can check in the attached file about the complete exercise and the measures. Now the curves are working fine. As extra, you will find Excel file contains almost the same reports with slicers also. I hope you have enjoyed the exercise. See you in the next video. Enjoy automation.